What's going on there, you little slippery salamanders? My name is Pone, and I'm a little under the weather, as you can see. My voice is a little less sexy. Not completely sexy list, but it's it's kind of there. But uh, I wanted to kind of give you a little video out. A lot of you guys have been asking me to put up the SR338 gameplay that I have, and it took me a long time to get any footage together. Um, this gun, in my opinion, is the worst gun in the game, and I'm going to stop right there. I mean, like, you ever have a mom that told you if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all? Enjoy the rest of commentary in silence, guys. I'm just messing with you. I'm here. Um, but that's just what it is. This gun was extremely appalling to me. I honestly do feel that this is the worst gun in the game, and I think it needs a definite buff. Now, when first looking at these stats before I even got to look at this thing, I, I compared it to like the battle log stats of the RFB, and it basically looked like a DMR across the board. It does roughly, I believe, 50 damage. So knowing that there's that whole 0% health bug, I'd say 95% of the time when I get a kill, it's a three shot to kill. A uh, one-shot headshot is generally only going to happen when you're right up close, so pay attention to the gameplay. You can see exactly how many shots it takes to kill people. You'll see many times it takes three hit markers, even 15, 20 meters out. So things are just really, really weird. I don't know if it's just bugs, some problems are going on, but this gun is not a gun that you want to use at all because it's not proficient, it's not reliable in close quarters. It's, it's absolutely not because they created this gun uh, with only 10 shots and the ability for you to use it in recon. Honestly... The proper bolt action is going to work better because it also has this little thing where every third shot, it deviates from its original course. As you can see, my first two shots went right there. I shouldn't have even landed that third shot except for it deviated right where I wanted to. I got lucky right there. So this gun deviates on the third shot, and seeing as how most of the time you're going to have to need three shots to kill the guy, it's going to be crazy. So what you have to do is while using this weapon is you have to teach yourself to pace your shots. you got to go pow, 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 and that's how you got to do it. you got to find this steady, reliable I guess, rate of fire for the, the shots to stay consistent, because if you spam it, the bullets are just going to fly everywhere. It's one of those teenage kids in rebellious phase things. You just can't handle it. You can't do it. And you're seeing firsthand right now what the hip fire is on this thing. It's not really good. I hit him three times. Three times at that range. Now, one-shot headshots are capable, but only like when you're right up breathing on the person's neck. And <laughs> that's not going to happen when you got a gun with an eight-time scope. You should never be that close to another guy. So... I just wanted to kind of make a video letting you guys know about this. I was going to put this up as my aggressive recon video, but it's absolutely not worth having. So to unlock this thing is actually fairly simple. I'm using this on an unranked server. So if you guys want to try this out and you're on PC, there are ways to actually get this gun and work with it, but it's not going to count and there's no real legitimate way to unlock it and play on official or ranked servers right now because it has a map specific, actually a DLC specific uh, way to unlock in the assignment. In the assignment, you have to get five C4 kills on naval strike maps. Now, because the guns are available, but the maps are not, you can't really unlock it, so you have to play on unranked. But when you do actually get this thing, you also need to get three sniper rifle ribbons too. So it's fairly easy to do. Three or five C4 kills on, on any naval strike map shouldn't be hard, especially if you're just going after all kinds of different stuff. And my guess is you don't even have to be recon to get just five C4 kills. You could probably be uh, support if you absolutely had to. Those things kind of get a little shifted around. But with using this weapon at first, I was extremely hyped. I was excited. I'm like, oh, and eight times for this, maybe make it. If this thing was a consistent two shot all around, it'd maybe be a little bit easier with the three shot uh, thing. But I think they need to beef this up. Even if it's just an additional like one, two, five damage or something, this thing needs to be a little bit more stronger because you're going to see exactly how hard this thing is. And if you shoot in any sort of repetitive nature, it's going to be very, very difficult. I found myself getting far too many three shot hit markers. Uh, and it was just, it was painful to use this weapon, knowing it only has got 10 shots. The bullet deviates if you shoot too fast. It's just not a weapon that I would ever recommend anybody using. I've already hit him twice, and I got a 95 assist right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So I think the gun is very, very challenging. It's not worth your time to even unlock until they actually buff this up. I mean, there could be a, a handful of other bugs going on with it. But compared to having, like, the goal or something like that, which can actually kill people in close quarters, this really has no place in the recon category because if we're going to be honest about it, the DMRs are going to outkill this gun even with some of the shorter range scopes, even with long range. And upon that, the sniper rifles are going to actually be able to kill in faster time in close quarters, even if, even if you know, you miss a few shots. So the awkward moment when the bold actions, even for a bad player, is probably a more logical choice to use than this weapon in close quarters, medium quarters, is kind of funny to me. So I just wanted to throw the video out there. I'm not trying to trash talk the gun. I'm just kind of spreading awareness that this gun is definitely not a good weapon. A lot of people were excited about this one because we had our first chance to see what this gun could do. Headshot. Headshot. It took a double headshot to kill that guy from that range, and that's ridiculous. You've seen other moments where I've headshot a guy 10, 15 meters, and it did nothing. 
So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will have another video up tonight with the AR-160, and I will catch you guys with a Battlefield Aggressive Recon tomorrow. Remember to subscribe if you are new here. I apologize for being sick, but uh, it's just, things happen sometimes, guys. Stay moist, ladies and gentlemen.